everyone, it's Rachel Gregg here from Darkroom Door. I'm really excited to be a part of the Creative Summit for 2013. Today what I'm going to show you is three different ways on how to use rubber stamps. The first way is how to colour using coloured markers. So what I'm using is the Darkroom Door Art de Fleur stamp set. It's uh, got quite a lot of flower stamps in that and it's really cool. I'm using the Jet Black Archival ink to ink up the stamp. It's a waterproof ink, it's oil based, so it works really well on glossy cardstock. So I'm just going to stamp that now just on some gloss. And then what we need to do after that is just dry it with a heat tool. You just want to make sure the ink is completely dry before you start colouring with the markers. Okay, so that's pretty dry now. And what I'm using here is just some Marvi markers. These are a water-based marker. A lot of people think that they might not dry on glossy cardstock, but they actually dry really well. You can also use any other water-based marker like Distress markers or Tombows, anything like that. And what I'm doing now is I'm just colouring in the image and it'll dry fairly quickly. As you can see, it's fairly quick and a lot of fun. If you wanted to use Copic markers instead, you could do the same thing, but what you need to do is a different use a different ink pad and also a different paper, and then just colour in these images just with your Copic markers. The Darkroom Door stamps are very detailed. A lot of them have uh, quite a lot of detail in them because they are made from photographs but they do lend themselves very well to this sort of colouring technique. And you can see how quick and easy this is. I'm almost done here. Just move the image around and just colour in all that detail. And there you go. So there's your finished image. All you need to do now is trim that out and turn that into a card. So here's a couple of samples I've got here to show you. This is just using the Art to Fleur stamp sets. And another card here using the Sweet Treats. And these have all been coloured in using the Marvi pens. They're the Marvi La Plume 2 pens. This is the London stamps. And then also one of our photo stamps, the Birthday Cake. Another favourite technique of mine is Crayon Resist. What I've done here is stamped the motorcycle photo stamp using Jet Black Archival Ink and what I'd like to do now is just highlight certain areas using a white wax crayon. So I'm just colouring in any area that I'd like to remain white just with the wax crayon. Continue doing this until you've coloured in all of those areas. Okay now I've coloured in all of those areas using the white crayon. I'm just using Distress Ink now and what I'm going to be doing is just sponging over the stamped image. And you can see here just slightly as you're sponging over the Distress Ink is resisting the wax crayon. And that's because Distress Ink is a water-based ink so it's going to resist anything that's waxy on the image. So just continue that until you've completed all of the image. Okay, once you've finished sponging the ink over your image, all you need to do now is just get a paper towel and buff the areas where the white crayon is and that will just get rid of any ink that might have just stayed on the white crayon. So there we go, there's your image. All you need to do now is just cut that down and mount that onto a card. And here we go, we've got some other cards that I'll just quickly show you here using the crayon resist technique. That's the motorcycle card that's all completely finished. Here some butterflies work really well the old truck photo stamp. It looks awesome when done with this technique. And the other things you can do is not just images but also words like this. And then just a little hint here just on the roses photo stamp. The final technique I'd like to share with you today is alcohol ink backgrounds. What I'm doing is just squeezing three colors of alcohol ink onto my felt applicator tool. And then just inside the center I'm just going to put a bit of blending solution and then on some glossy cardstock, I'm just going to tap those inks onto there. 
You have to work fairly quickly with alcohol inks. They do dry really quickly, but that's what makes it so much fun to make quick and easy cards and backgrounds. So I've just done that background. Now that is virtually dry. It's only going to take a few more seconds to dry. By the time I ink up my stamp, it'll be dry and ready for stamping. What I'm using is a darkroom door collage stamp. This is the Starflower stamp. I'm just inking it up with the archival jet black ink. It's a waterproof ink, so it's going to dry really quickly onto that glossy cardstock. So I've just inked that up, and then just on our background here, just press down, and then make sure you've just done that hard enough, then lift that off, and there's your stamped piece. All you need to do now is just turn that into a card. So here's some other samples of alcohol ink. Here I've used it over a word block stamp and the little door photo stamp. That's using one of the London stamp sets, the Venetian gondolas photo stamp and one of the seaside stamps. So it's a lot of fun. Hope you've enjoyed these techniques and thanks for watching.